Hey, I'm DJ Ron Mass here from Anime Jam Session. Today is the last day of Comic Con, so we're running around looking for some awesome cosplayers to talk to. Today, I've run into some Sonic cosplayers, so please introduce yourself. Hey there, name's Jordan, and I'm Sonic the Werehog. I'm Jessica, and I'm Amy Rose. Jillian, and I'm Rouge the Bat. Awesome, awesome. So, what made you decide to do Sonic cosplay today? Well, not a lot of people do it, so we figured, you know what, why not? Well, you do have a point, because most everybody here is generally doing Pokemon or Nintendo cosplay. It's always good to see Selma to other mascots, so I assume you're doing Werewolf Sonic for Sonic Unleashed? Yeah, but, you know, not too many people like that. It was an okay game, I can't complain, so what made you decide to do Sonic Unleashed? Well, um, when it came out, this is actually my one of my debuts for something other than my regular Sonic. Mm -hmm. So I figured, you know what, let's mix it up a little bit, and um, plus it's really warm, so... Yeah, it is a tad bit nipply outside there, so, Amy, so tell me a little bit about your costume. Um, I usually just wear pants or this jean jacket, but today I want to go a little bit more sexier because Amy Rose is not more like, just one simple dress, so I bumped up her costume, making more her age to attract Sonic, I guess. So it's sort of like a teenage Amy Rose. Mm hmm <laughs> And you, Rouge. Rouge is my favorite character, honestly, so I had to do her. Well, for me, it's always been a toss-up between um, Amy Rose and Rouge. Every day, I'm just, I'm just, oh, uh, don't, don't, don't. So awesome. I know, but don't make her jealous, you know. So, so is this your first Comic Con? Um, first Comic Con. Mm -hmm. It's actually my second. Did you, between last year and this year, which one did, you, which one was more enjoyable so far? I mean. This one was pretty enjoyable. The only real difference is this one was way more packed than last year. It's because of the... I went to New York Anime Festival. I usually in Orange Alley. Yeah. So when, it become, when they put it all together, it made more of a hassle for everyone else. Seeing that New York Anime Festival is usually in September, and Comic Con is usually in October or December. So it made it more... Everyone's trying to get into this one con scene. This is the biggest convention in New York City. Quite understandable. So I appreciate your time coming to interview you so much. Appreciate it. And one more thing, your thoughts on Sonic the Hedgehog 4? I'm already at the last boss, and oh! <laughs> Have you played it yet? I just got it. I'm already addicted to it. Awesome. Have you played it? Haven't got it yet, but I'm going to. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. But, um, you get a hug still. You get a hug. Awesome. Hi, I'm DJ Ron Mess from Anime Jam Session, and we're here with Ash Ketchum from Pokemon on last day at New York Comic Con. So, hey, Ash, how's it going so far? Pretty good, and how's it going for you? Oh, I can't complain. I ran into the princess earlier. She's off with the, with the Mushroom Kingdom card, and I'm like, you're lucky I paid the bill. So, she's off buying some stuff. I'm running around having a good time. That's, that's good. Uh, I'm r running around taking a break from Pokemon trading myself. Honestly, I'm in my best wishes outfit for uh, the new series, taking a little bit of a break before I kick it off in, uh, in America. So, Well, with the popularity of Pokemon, we can't wait for the, new, for the new series to come out. So tell me, how many Pokemon have you collected so far? So far, I would have to say no legendaries. I do have the opportunity always, never take it. Well, definitely go for it, because you know what, Ash? We definitely believe in you. Give me a five. And one more thing for our, for our fair listeners. What's the story between you and Misty? Story between me and Misty? Well, we did have a fair goodbye. I finally gave her back her bike, but I pretty much told her that I love her. Everybody Aww. knows that. So, Misty, I will always love you. You can't beat true love. DJ Ron Miss with Anime Jam Session. Thanks a lot, man. Cool. Very nice. Right. And um, there you go. We actually have a podcast too. Yeah, you got a car? Uh, hey, I'm DJ Ron Mess, live at New York Comic Con. And here, we're here with one of my favorite cosplayers. Her name is Chrissy. And she also runs the popular Sailor Moon Avatars. Say hello, Chrissy. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so tell me, is this your first Comic Con? Uh, no, actually, I was the MC for the comic book uh, convention a couple of years ago when they had the, uh, the co first cosplay competition. Oh, right. I remember that. I think I got dragged into that one or something like that. You were helping run it, actually. You were running the anime section. That explains a lot now, doesn't it? So, 
What is your normal uh, cosplay? Who do you normally cosplay a lot? Well, normally I cosplay Sailor Mars. Uh, Utena is a close second, and lately Umi's a third. Yeah, I was going to ask you. You're doing a little bit something different today, so. I am. Yes, I am. I didn't feel like getting my hair straightened, so it was wig time. Okay, so tell me, did you do this costume yourself? We had a little bit of help. No, this is made by Patty and Steph. Their uh, website is StarNightIndustries.com. Star Night Industries? Star Night, no T at the end. Oh, I'll, I'll make sure to remember that when I do the editing. So let's get a quick shot of, of, of the entire album. Wonderful. Now, tell us about this uh, Sailor Moon Avatar site of yours. Well, I run a cosplay site primarily just for Sailor Moon and the Sailor Senshi cosplayers, villains also. But uh, it's basically the largest database of just Sailor Moon cosplayers on the internet. Well, I think that's a remarkable thing. And how long have you had this site? It's actually uh, 10 years this, this month, or last month. 10? 10 years of Sailor Moon cosplay. Wow. I can't even keep a website going for about two years. Look at her, she's got a site going for 10 years dedicated to one thing. Yep. That just proves I got a real bad case of ADD. <laughs> so thank you, Chris. Thank you very much for being on for the interview. Thank you very much. All right, that's it. Hey, DJ Ron Mahes here from New York Comic Con on the last day. And during our travels to this con for the last three days, we come across the magnificent Professor Layton. Uh, afternoon. Afternoon to you. So how are you enjoying this convention so far? Uh, it's very great. Um, it was a bit crowded, but um, overall it was a great experience. I mean, everything combined, especially the masquerade last night was amazing. Yeah? What did you think of the masquerade last night? Uh, it was really great. There were some great skits, great walk-ons. Um, what was missing though were... The, some of the skits were a bit short, but... Yeah. Um, not, not, not that many comedy ones. Yeah. There wasn't anything that stood on your mind that you liked a lot? Uh, at the convention or the masquerade? Masquerade. Masquerade? Yes. Breakdancing Mario. Oh yeah, that was fun. That was really awesome. Yes, indeed. Especially when all the X-Men popped out. Yeah, that, that I can definitely get with. I can definitely get it with. brought back a lot of good memories. Definitely. So, Professor Layton, tell me a little bit about yourself. As Professor Layton or... Well, I'm visiting from London. Yeah. Um, and I noticed an interesting convention going on, and I decided to stop by see if I could find any hint points or um, interesting case. Have you found anything yet so far? Uh, not yet. Not not without my assistant Luke. Uh, okay. Have you tried upstairs in the exhibit hall? Uh, I did, but no sign of him. Well, I wish you a lot of luck in your quest in finding him. All right. Thank you. You, have a good you too, DJ Ron Mess with Animation Jam Session. Hey, DJ Ron Mess here at New York Comic Con. As you can see, I'm dressed up as Luigi, and during our travels today, we come across my brother's princess, the one for Princess Peach, and I guess my brother's evil cousin, Wario. <laughs> Quiet, you used to owe me 20 bucks. Damn. That's what I thought. So tell me, Peach, what brings you to Comic Con this year? Um, well, Wario went last year, and uh, he said it was super awesome, so I decided to tag along this year and check it out. Do you also agree that the con is super awesome this year as well? What was that? Do you also agree that the con is super awesome as well? Oh yeah, it's like triple awesome, like triple awesome times infinity. <laughs> wow, is this like your first convention ever, or you've been to a few before? No, this is actually my first convention ever, so I'm pretty... And I assume you went all three days? I have, weekend pass. <laughs> And the words sensory overload comes to mind. Would you agree? Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, for a person that's been going to cons as long as I have, this was truly sensory overload for me. So, why cosplay Peach? Um, well, my brother decided to do Wario. Um, and Friday I didn't cosplay, actually. And I just, like, he was getting all this attention. It looked like a lot of fun. So, um, after work, I stopped by a costume shop, found Peach, tried it on, fell in love. So. Works for me and for, and you, Wario. I told you about that. It's okay. It's good. So why why cosplay Wario this year? Because everybody is Mario and Luigi. Nobody gives love to Wario. Well, I think to find there's more Mario running around than there is Luigi. So you may just be right about that, nonetheless. Exactly. Wario 
someone needs to represent him, and I am that person to represent. Fair enough, fair enough. So is this your first convention, or you've been to plenty more besides this? This is my third one, but it's always here. I did the Comic-Con, and then I did the Anime Fest, and now I do the Comic-Con Anime Fest. Okay, so what do you think of the con so far, overall? I thought it was the greatest so far. I can't wait for next year, and the year after that. Neither can I, so that means I count on both of you to be here next year? Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. DJ Ron Mess with Anime Jam Session. Hey, DJ Ron Mess here for Anime Jam Session. So, Sunday's the last day of the convention, and yesterday while I was walking around, I come across this awesome group of Scott Pilgrim cosplayers. Now, all weekend I've been walking around, I've been seeing some Ramonas and some Scots, two and three. I even seen the Gideon run around, but first time I've seen pretty much a whole group. So, if you like, take a minute, I'll introduce yourself. That's my character. Who's your character? Yeah. I'm Matthew Patel. I'm Ramona Flowers. Scott Pilgrim. My name is Wallace Wells. I'm Lynette Guycott. Todd Ingram. Okay, okay, now let me ask you, what made you decide to do Scott Pilgrim cosplay? Uh, to me, I just love the comic book and the movie, so... And I think she's a pretty badass girl. Agreed. I wanted to do a group like this for my roommate. She said, not doing Scott Pilgrim cosplay. Oh, But you know, that's how it goes. So let me ask you, in between the movies and the books, was it, was it, which one did you prefer better? I don't have a vote. Oh, sorry. I, I honestly, I've seen the movie five times, um, and I've read the comic series, and I think the movie is ridiculously faithful to the comic while still understanding and taking into account the fact that film is just a different medium. So Edgar Wright really does a great job of just making it exactly what it should be. Yep. And the video game is good. Yeah, when the game came out, I was home that day, jumped on live, for, me and my roommate, we finished the game in four and a half hours, went back, started leveling up all the rest of the characters and trying to get all the unlocks. My roommate did, but I did not. I thought I did, but I'm like, it's on his save. Ah, oh, damn it. So, I assume you guys are going to go pick up the DVD that's coming out next, next month. Absolutely. Alright, so. What made you decide which character to cosplay, or were you told you're gonna to cosplay this person, you're gonna cosplay that person? We actually, I don't, I just met all of these people. Yeah. We sort of just uh, got yeah. together and made a little family. Yeah. Personally, I just sort of am Wallace, except less drunk and more straight. <laughs> so it was an easy choice. I have a lot of ex-boyfriends. So, so let me ask, does the current boyfriend have to fight the prior ones? Yeah, it's pretty tough, but, you know. Trust me, believe it or not, I've actually been down that road a couple of times, so it's really, wow. I'm worth it, so it's okay. Well, <laughs> I, I mean, not to be biased, see, I liked Ramona in the comic book more than the movie. See, if I was fighting for comic book Ramona, no questions asked. Movie Ramona would be like, third one, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm clocking out. I'm done. I do like comic book Ramona. I think we all do. Um... Would you like to see, like, maybe they would do, like, a seventh book, like, down the line? Like, a, like, a futuristic, like, what happens later, or... I don't know how they could continue it, but, yeah. I mean, I, if, I mean, like, unless she didn't tell us about the other 48 book that she had. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now let me ask, now if you've read the books, would you want a seventh book, or what would you write, you know, what would you think would be, like, a perfect seven, you know? Like, maybe more about stories of the characters. Yeah, or the, like, even the past, the really ex okay. like, at all. Anything like Wallace, yeah, I'm sure a lot of Wallace adventures. <laughs> I, I would Wallace definitely. Adventures yeah. Of Wallace. <laughs> yeah. I would definitely like these boxes. A gay Fantasia. <laughs> yes. Okay, last question. Favorite character from the series? Oh, Todd Ingram. Ooh. <laughs> I actually really like Wallace a lot. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. I, they're all awesome. I'm only Scott because people tell me I act like him, so. <laughs> I'm torn between Wallace and Kim. I think maybe Kim. I like Kim. I agree with Kim. I, I'm more of a Kim Pine fan, yeah. Lynette Guycott. I mean, she was in it for a little bit, but she's so awesome. <laughs> it's a cross between Matthew Patel and Todd. I can't think. Okay, I, I know that was last question, but here's the thing. As you know, HBO has a series called Bored to Death, and you know the character that played Matthew Patel is in it. How does that, what do you think when you see that? 
breaking the song. Yes, you just, <laughs> you just definitely do that. <laughs> agreed, agreed, agreed. I think it's going to be hard to see him as anything but Matthew Patel. Yeah. Yeah. You're not the first person to say that. Thanks a lot for your time. Uh, DJ Ron us with Anime Jam Session. All right. Thanks a lot. No All right. Um,